Hello folks, it's me, Elliot Nash. How are you? There may be some people out there watching this going, wow, I've not seen him for years. I'm here. I'm currently in um, Thailand. I've been, I'm, I'm actually on the outskirts of Bangkok. Um, the Kanchanafisek, Kanchanafisek bridge is here. I can't really show you because I've got all this set up. <coughs> Excuse me, but it runs like that way. Suksawat Road runs just down here on the front. I'm about. Oh, let me get a drink of water. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm about three, four miles away from the uh, uh, Bangkok Central. But you can see all the Thai right in here. It's Thai water. <coughs> Hope you're holding out with the virus and everything. I just thought I'd come on YouTube. I haven't seen people from the UK for a long time. Indeed, I haven't been there for 10 years. I left the UK in 2009. I was living in China for 10 years. Uh, now, August last year, I moved here to Thailand. I te I've been teaching English for the past, since 2009. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of sketching and stuff. I'm trying to break into the comedy scene, you see. I'm gonna go to New York within the next couple of years when the virus thing calms down and I'm planning on getting up on stage there, you know do the comedy clubs and circuits, I think that would be a great wonderful experience, you know but the teaching's going okay, you know what's that on my glasses? oh dear flipping heck old age, see, you can't, can't see what's going on see, I can hardly see it I can hardly see it, I can see you now, that's better I think, <coughs> I think we've all done jobs, you know, this teaching's been great, honestly, it's been a fantastic experience in China, and it changed me as a human being, really, it did. For example, I don't drink anymore, I don't smoke anymore, I certainly don't do drugs, I'm mad on in my younger days, never mind. But, you know, it has changed me as a human being, and it was an incredible experience. But I think we've all done jobs that we don't like, or jobs we're not keen on, or jobs we're not happy with. For me, it was door-to-door -door sales, yeah? Now please understand, I'm not knocking anyone who's a door-to-door -door salesman, it takes a lot of skill, it takes a lot of patience to make money at it, yeah? I decided I was going to be the best fucking door-to-door -door salesman in the known universe. I even went to elocution lessons and everything. Bath became bath. Hello. How are you, sir? How are you good, sir? Nice to meet you. You get the, you get the drift. I was working for a firm called DP Windows. So I got my spiel sorted out. <coughs> Excuse me. First day on the job. First day on the job, yeah. First hour, so knocked on. Knocked on the door. Guy answers. Good morning, sir. I'm a representative for DP Windows. We're currently fitting two windows for the price of one, fully fitted, guaranteed for the next 10 years. He said, I'm having me breakfast. Now fuck off. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Charmed, I'm sure. I know. Yeah. Knocked on the second door. Straight away, there was something not right about this guy. Something very strange, you know. It's a bit light on the loafers, you know. He's like, as soon as you open the door, he's like, mm. "All right, mate. Seen you walking down streets. Why's wow, upstairs? Starfish down the bed. You coming in? What? <laughs> what? I'm selling windows. Fuck the windows." Come in. She had no wife. They what? Swingers. Everywhere you go. He wanted me to go in and bang his missus. I'm a door to door salesman. I thought, what the fuck is that? Third door I knocked on, yeah? They had like this box bay window, yeah? And this old guy was stood on his zimmer frame and he's looking at me as I'm coming up the path. He's staring at me, you know, like, what do you want? What do you want? Fuck off. And, and as I'm walking up the path, I'm getting a bit nervous. Do you know, I'm, like, I'm looking at him. And I get to the front door, and they've got this like, they've got like this, um, this, this glass panel in his front door. I can see through the panel, I can see down the hallway, yeah? You know? And he comes round, he comes out of the living room, and he comes round and he's coming down, you know, on his Zimmer frame. You know? Mothering bastard, what do you want, banging on the fucking door? 
Anyway, it takes him five minutes to open the door. Yeah, he's wrestling with the door because he's, he's got his Zimmer frame in the way. There's all sorts of wrestling going on. He eventually opens the door. Yeah. No, you. What you want? I said, good morning, sir. I'm a representative for DP Windows. We're currently fitting two windows for the price of one, fully fitted, guaranteed for the next season. What? I can't hear you. What were you fucking talking about, okay? What? At that point, his wife appears from the kitchen in the back. Yeah? She comes out the back. And she's on two sticks. Her language was terrible. You know, she's at it. Take no shit, Frank. Tell him fuck off. I'm dealing with it, Phyllis. I'm dealing with it now. You. What the fuck do you want? I said, window, sir. When, when? Oh, Phyllis. I think he wants to clean the window. Oh, no. No, love, no. She says, no. Our, our, our Tommy, our Tommy comes once a month and cleans the windows, love, thanks. No, no, thank you. I'm not here to clean the I'm I'm selling windows, sir. No, thanks, God. No, you're all right. Bang, sir. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've knocked on three doors and I'm understandably, I'm getting fed up and pissed off now, you know. I knocked on the last door, the fourth door. Well, it was, it turns out to be the last door anyway. Knocks on the door and a guy with a turban on his head, he opens the door. A nice Indian chap. He says, good morning, sir. Yes, please. Thank you. I said, ah, hello, sir. Good morning. Oh. I'm a representative for DP Windows. We're currently fitting two windows for the price of one. Fully fitted guaranteed for the next 10 years. No, no, no. No, 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 thank you, sir. No, 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 no. No, thank you, please. No. I said, oh, thank you. No, oh, thank you, sir. Sorry. Sorry, so troubled you. So I start to walk off. As I'm walking off, he shouts me back. My friend. My friend, come. My friend. So I turns around and I comes back, uh, yeah, thinking he's changed his mind, you know. Yeah, thinking he's changed his mind. Do you have a mattress on your bed? I said, huh? What? A mattress? Do you have a mattress on your bed? Yes. May the mattress on your bed squeak many times, my friend. Uh, that was it. I just threw the clipboard down, boom, finished. That resulted, this resulted in a career change, yeah, because I, I wanted to change my job, you know. I wanted to break into the sex industry, you know, because I'm extremely nosy, I'm a red-blooded man and I'm a bit perverse. So, I took a job in a sex shop. It was, it was okay, a bit of product training, how the tool works and everything. Not a problem. And as I'm stood behind the counter, yeah, my first day on the work, uh, on the job, you know, the door goes, <laughs> I have one of them jingly things, you know, when the door goes bling, 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 bling. And he comes walking in, you know, he's sweating and shaking everything, put his hand on the counter. Boom. Do you have any movies with people fornicating, wearing rubber? I heard him perfectly on the first time, you know, I just wanted to say, I'm, so, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, could you say that again? Do you have any movies with people fornicating, wearing Robert. I said, fuck me. He said, I will do if you wear rubber. Do you fucking want to? I don't like rubber. It sticks to your skin. Makes your skin smells. So I'm told. <clears throat> as it happens, as it happens, we had these movies in. I said, yes, rubber rompers on the left. Fourth shelf down, gone up myself. <laughs> he was gone. <laughs> threw it on the table, threw the money at me, <laughs> through the door. Honestly. I'm the, uh. Next minute, the door goes again. <laughs> the guy walks in. Now, you recall when I was doing the door to door sales, that guy wanted me to go in and shag his missus. It's the same guy. He's like, alright, mate. You're here, are you? Working in, are you? You've changed your job, have you? Wife's in here. She's on backside. Put an air on backside. <laughs> what? What? I'm looking at that. No, no. I had to fly the reviews again. I keep thinking maybe I should have had a look at his missus first, mate. Anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> After the sex shop, I got tired of it and I got a bit bored. I decided, yeah, I wanted to. 
actually break into the porn movies, the porn industry. Yeah, I wanted to become a porn actor because I'm thinking shagging and getting paid for it is not a bad number. You know what I mean? So I arranged this interview, and I had to—I think it was something Starlight Productions. I can't remember the name of it. Star, Stargazer, Star, Star something Productions on Sackville Street in the office block on the tenth floor. I forget the name of the office building now. Anyway, I've gone down there <coughs> to have this interview. I decided I was going to show these people I'm keen to get cracking, you know. So what I did, I took the elevator, I went down there, got into the elevator of the building, up to the 10th floor, went into the gents' toilets, took off all my clothes except my shoes, yeah. Then I went marching up to the office, I kicked the door off, yeah, I breezed in. I said, I'm Mr. Nash and I'm here about the palm vacancies. Get the actress out here, get the cameras rolling, I'll bang the fucking ass off her right now. And there's this woman there in very smart attire, you know, office attire. With a clipboard looking over her glasses at me like I was a piece of shit, and she's going, Who are you? I said, I'm Mr. Nash, and I'm here to bang the ass up a porn actress. Mr. Nash, this is the interview stage only. I said, Don't bother me with your minor details of get the bitch out here, get the cameras rolling, let's get fucking cracking. I'm not here to fuck her, but anyway, she promptly phoned security and threw me out. <laughs> done. That's me demo done. It's good to see you all. I'm hoping to return back to England. I've got to hurry up because if it gets any longer, YouTube for some reason won't let me download it if it goes past 15 minutes. I mean, so anyway, I'm just being on the safe side and stopping it soon. I'm going to be coming back to England at some point in the next few years. I know you've missed me. Ciao, peeps.